All right, so uh, obviously not the greatest news coming in the last handful of days as the NHL has been swamped with COVID um, and a bunch of different things have, have kind of really gone south uh, for the league in the in in the in, in the last handful of days or so. And uh, so basically, I would have explained all this tonight in my game review because essentially. The Flyers were supposed to play a game tonight, and they're not now. The game was postponed against Washington tonight. The game on Thursday was already postponed yesterday. So let's start with yesterday first. Uh, this is a tweet yesterday from the from NHL Public Relations. Uh, the NHL and NHLPA have agreed to begin the holiday break after Tuesday's games. Practices will resume on December 26th, and the league's regular season schedule will resume on December 27th. Uh, and to go further, with no games currently scheduled on Wednesday, December 22nd because of COVID-related postponements, the National Hockey League and National Hockey League Players Association have agreed to postpone the five games that remain uh, scheduled on Thursday, December 23rd in order to begin the, co- the collective, collectively bargained holiday break uh, effective with the conclusion of tomorrow, tomorrow night uh, of games tomorrow night, December 21st. Um, under the revised schedule, December 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Christmas Day, shall be uh, off days for all purposes, including travel. Uh, players will report back to their clubs on the 26th, which shall be used for testing, practice, and or travel only. Uh, upon return from the holiday break, the team facilities, no individual in the team's traveling party shall enter the facility other than for testing per- uh, purposes until they have a negative test result. Any practice scheduled for December 22nd, December, December 26th, easier for me to say, uh, must begin after 2 p.m. local time. Uh, the NHL's regular season schedule will resume on Monday, December 27th. So, that is yesterday. So, we knew that the Flyers game against Pittsburgh on the road this Thursday was going to be postponed. Um, and we knew that the game tonight was supposed to happen. Now, morning skate happened. The Capitals went out for morning skate. And they ended up leaving early. And then their media uh, availability was canceled. So that was kind of a teller, and then Jordan Hall had a tweet up that John Carlson was on the bench for the Capitals, and he said something like, we're leaving, and um, yeah, that was that, and like many other sources could confirm, the game was postponed, and per the NHL uh, schedule update, NHL postpones tonight Capitals at NHL Flyers game, the National Hockey League announced today that due to COVID-related issues affecting the Washington Capitals, tonight's game against the Philadelphia Flyers has been postponed. A makeup date for the game has yet to be established. Now, this is the third game of the season uh, that has been postponed for the Flyers. They were supposed to play a game uh, on Tuesday, November 30th against the New York Islanders, and that was postponed because of COVID. Uh, and that was actually supposed to be the first of a back-to-back. Um, this is back during the 10-game losing streak still, and um, that game was postponed because the Islanders were dealing with a major ton of COVID issues and things like that. Had a lot of guys out. And um, the Flyers only played one game that week. They played the Rangers, then Tampa, and Colorado. Um, and then ended up the 10th the tenth game of that streak being against the Devils. So that was the uh, seventh loss um, of that streak. And it's, um, you know, thankfully that's over now. But, you know, I had said on the podcast the other day, if you listened um, to Fly It Up with me and Amadeo, I had mentioned that I was assuming that the NHL was going to use the legit like two, two and a half week break that was used for the Olympics since they're not going to the Olympics now. That's the other thing that's crazy with all this is now COVID has put a damper on the Olympics and that was going to, supposed to be this big thing and who was going to make the Olympic teams and everything. Um, it was supposed to be a really good showing for the NHL since they haven't been there since 2014. And um, they're not going now because of COVID. And I was assuming that they were going to use that break, and that's exactly what they were doing. Andy Strickland uh, tweeted yesterday, uh, last night, um, actually, sources can confirm the February break in the NHL schedule originally for the Olympics will now be used to play makeup games for all games taken off the board. So, uh, if you're looking at the Flyers month of February, they only had four games originally scheduled in this month. February 1st at home against the Winnipeg Jets at 7 o'clock. February 23rd uh, on the road against the Red Wings at 7.30. Uh, and then February 26th at home against the Washington Capitals uh, on a Saturday at 12.30. So that's a matinee game. And then they would play Monday the 28th of February at 7 o'clock at home. So the Flyers already had three um, home games in this month are going to be getting two more. Uh, the Capitals and the uh, and the Islanders game were both home games. Don't know when they'll schedule these in here. 
Um, and then you also have the Pittsburgh game, which was a road game. So really only two road games in the month of February are going to be for the Flyers. Again, there's no dates announced yet. I'm hoping they maybe spread these out and kind of put them a little bit closer um, if they can. I know there's three games. Um, but again, it, with the Flyers being at home, I think that'll that'll be good for them travel-wise. And um, you know, maybe the month of February won't be as weird as it seems like it's going to be because there's only going to be seven games that month for them. So a lot of things have happened. Um, the Flyers had a handful of updates um, as Gary Mayhew was called up today, he was going to be playing on a line with JVR, uh, and Scott Lawton. And that, it sucks for him because, you know, he's a guy that wanted to play in this game, um, you know, going to make his NHL debut. And that, that would have been awesome for him. And, um, he can't play. And obviously Flyers have been dealing with a bunch of different things of their own. Uh, Carter Hart wasn't starting in this game, which was probably fine anyway. He wasn't there with the illness yet. Um, and he was, you know, it, it, it just made sense to not play him in this game and then wait until Seattle. So hopefully by the time Seattle comes around, which I think Carter Hart will be, I'm hoping he will be, he should be able to start that game in Seattle. Um, you know, it, 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 it's just a bummer because you're now starting to see kind of what last year was and all the stuff with the media has kind of gone down and it's went back to last year. Everything's over Zoom and things like that. So um, it, it, it's... It's just unfortunate. It's it's kind of the whole thing is just a bummer because now you're seeing more cancellations. As as I said, there's been like 50 or so cancellations of game or excuse me postponements of games um, in the recent days. So obviously it's been pretty tough. But uh, as of right now, the Flyers' next game is uh, December 29th against the Seattle Kraken, and that is a back to back by the 29th and the 30th, and then the first. Um, so yeah, it's uh, unfortunate stuff, but. Let me know your guys' thoughts below. Um, anything, you know, if there's anything Flyers-related you want to talk about. The Flyers definitely did have some some guys that kind of get put into the COVID protocol as well. Hayes was put in. Um, and you obviously saw Frost and Woman. And the, actually, it was confirmed yesterday. It was a couple staff members, not just one, a couple. So the Flyers have dealt with it a little bit. Um, it's gone up as the days have gone by. But um, not as much as other teams. And thankfully, it, it doesn't spread more. And hopefully, it doesn't. But, um, yeah, obviously not the greatest news recently with the team. And um, hopefully we don't see any more postponements because it looks like the other game that was tonight, uh, which was Vegas against Tampa Bay, that looks like it's in jeopardy as well. So we'll see what happens there. Remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Remember to check out Buttons. Use code PHI for 10% off. Also check out Garrett Group, Garrett Group Construction for any home improvement needs. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all again soon.